I told you I didn't want to put any money down on this lease, so I need you to work up a different lease for me. No money down. Yeah, this is with no money down. He's actually 100% correct. Whatever you can, don't put money down. Especially, I uh, made the mistake. When I bought this cargo van for my business, I actually traded in this Silverado and I had equity at the time. I'm kicking myself every day because I had $4,000 in equity that I just wrapped in and put into the loan. When I got this van, I had a 2.9% interest rate. Why did I not take the cash? Because again, the, that interest, I think at the end of the day, I'm paying like $2,200 in interest, which is like nothing. And I'd much rather have had the cash. Because again, if anything happens, like a year and a half ago, I had to go to the hospital. I had my fourth brain surgery in my life. And now I found out because now it's on my dime because I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. They're expensive. It's, it's a little bit expensive. Without insurance, the total was $296,000 for one week in the hospital and the brain surgery. The brain surgery alone was 160 grand. So I much rather have my cash on hand to pay my mortgage, to pay for my cars, to pay for my utility, like any bill you have, right? I'd rather have the cash to spend it on to cover you. So yeah, and again, on a lease, that car, you get, like he said, can get totaled. You drive six, uh, six feet down the road and you get slammed by a semi that ran a stop, a stop light, a red light, and <laughs> then you're fighting with the insurance company trying to get your money back. And one of the comments was one of the best ones I've ever seen. If you're worried about it, right? Like, oh, I don't want to have that huge gap, get gap insurance. Get it. But something no one thinks about. If you ever get it totaled, always, always have an individual appraiser come out and appraise the car and say, oh yeah, this car would be worth this much. Because don't expect the insurance company that you owe money to, right, that, that's going to pay you. Don't let them try to tell you what your car is worth. That just... They're, oh, yeah, yeah, your car's only worth 27. Oh, oh, the independent guy said it was worth 36? Like, you know, they're, just, they're not trying to pay you. They're trying to save every dollar they can. So they rip you off a few grand. They don't care. That's less money they have to pay. So this is ingenious, though. Absolutely. I hate the idea of putting money down on a car. And then you're going to say, what do you know about cars? I don't know. I had this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, uh, this is bad. Don't buy cars, drugs would have been cheaper at this point. But anyways, yeah, I love the idea though. Don't put money down if you, if you don't have to.